Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone and welcome to another segment of On the Bench here. Uh, today I'm going to be tying you up a very simple but effective fly. This is a uh, we're tying on a jig today to uh, hang it under an indicator if you like. You can strip this fly. It's the electric chicken. Electric chicken is basically the color. You're going to see that in maybe some soft baits for bass. or I've seen this color many times in saltwater applications. On tackle, I've tied different uh, flies and lures in this over the years and it has been a great producer. So. Let's go over the materials. I'm going to be using a um, Togan's uh, number 10 jig hook. And also on the front of that, I'm putting in a Togan's tungsten slotted bead. It's a fluorescent orange. Real nice color. And that'll pick up some uh, nice light for you. The thread I'm going to be using is some 6 aught fluorescent fire orange. That'll be a nice bright item. The tail, I'm going to be using some white, soft white marabou plumes. Got some nice soft uh, hackle or plumes with some length to it. The body, I want a chartreuse. So what I've done here is I've blended ice dub, the UV light olive. It's a little lighter than I want. And uh, blended it with some African goat and green. And I've done 50-50 mix. I've actually cut the fibers down on the African goat so it was a little bit shorter so I didn't get it too long. And the ice stub was too fine. I wasn't getting the buggy uh, texture of my uh, body that I wanted. So when I blended those both up in my little coffee bean grinder, I come up with a really, really nice blend. And uh, so that's, that's the way I like to do things a lot of times. I get the texture and the color I'm looking for. And you can do that right at home with a very cheap little coffee bean grinder you get them at a yard sale or wherever you want you can borrow your wife if you want make sure you take it back for morning she won't be happy with you if you leave it on your tying bench and on the color i'm just going to be using some ice dub and uv pink and that uh, is just a really nice you can go to hot pink but i like just the soft pink on that don't want to take over the body too much let's get your materials ready and i'm going to dress the shank here of course and we'll come in with some marabou. Get a nice soft, very breathable uh, tail material on this. You can keep it quite slender. Let me grab a better one there. That one got a little weak on me there in the side. There we go. It's nice, nice and soft. Tying this tail on this one quite long. I like the I like it to breathe. This kind of is a this is a jig. I mean this this fly will undulate in the water. You fish it in that manner. I think you'll see in other flies that I've demoed before that electric chicken color. And they they like it. I like it a lot. I'm putting a little bit of this thread color down over top of the marabou for a reason because it'll blend through or you'll be able to see it underneath the uh, body color when it's wet just barely but you'll see a little bit of that fluorescent fire orange shred peek through there it gives you a nice nice undertone I'm not using any ribbing on it I'm just gonna go start for the back here then we're gonna just gonna way up so that little pokes through there a little bit that's okay and if we've got a nice buggy body with the way I blended those materials with that African goat you see the nice soft materials and I got a little bit of the speckle there from the UV light olive ice stub in there it's a great blend I like to blend a lot of materials and then I'm just going to go straight. I'm not putting a um, kind of a hackle collar on it. I'm just going to give this a little more of the pink definition on the front. Just a little bit. 
and I like to leave it nice and buggy as well. Now, if you don't get that, if you're rolling it on by hand, if you uh, don't have a rotary vise to, to get the buggy nature of the uh, dub body, you, you can pick it out. Get yourself a little wire picker like that, brush, uh, Velcro brush, whatever you want, and pluck it out. But I can't emphasize enough how you want to uh, get these flies a little buggy. You'll see it up in the missing the daylight, hold it up towards the light. You'll see translucency really works for you. And uh, also, I'll just throw light off. You'll see when we get this one wet in the water what we got. So it's a it's a great it's a great producer. I wouldn't fish that just because the lights up uh, necessarily in the dark. Um, this fly works really well when bright light conditions. It really does. And uh, so we'd like to thank you again for catching us on sports fishing on the fly on the bench here again. Don't forget to become a member if you already haven't signed up. You get a lot of fly time videos and seminars, lots of TV shows over there. 25 years Don's put online. So you're welcome to watch all of those and also some product giveaways. I'd like to thank our sponsors and thank you again for watching. So have a great day. Catch you on the water.